I want to talk about the three pipes that we use in dewatering. We have the three inch pipe, the three inch plus, which is three inches and an eighth, gives you 8% more area when you compare it to a three inch straight up, and the four inch. When you compare the three inch to the four inch, there is 77% greater area when you jump up to the four inch, so it's almost nearly two three inch pipes. Now in yard drainage, farm ag, we're finding that we clog a lot of four inch lines because we're not flowing enough water. We're going to smaller diameter pipes, so that way we can keep up the pounds per square inch. It keeps the pipe clean. Farmers are replacing their clogged fields with three inch line. This has been a really big movement. For decades and decades and decades, everybody was putting in four inch. And then when fields were failing and they were able to make that connection that they just weren't flowing enough water to keep that pipe clean, they started going to the three inch and the three inch plus. Now I see the same problems in yard drainage. Just because they've only made a three inch and four inch and nothing in between, the three inch plus gives us a little more. It's kind of unfortunate because in yard drainage and farm ag and basement dewatering, a three and a half inch pipe would be ideal. Now I did a 3D printed three and a half inch pipe where some colleagues of mine printed this for me. Take a look and compare that to the three inch, the three inch plus and the four inch pipe. Now instead of going from a three inch to a four inch, the four inch having 77% greater area than the three inch, now you're going from a three inch to a three and a half and you have 36% greater area. When you go from the three and a half to the four, in comparison, you're gonna have 30% more area when you make that step. This to me makes more sense. We're gonna keep our systems clean. We're gonna be able to size our systems appropriately. How many times do we all go from the three, three plus to a four just because there's nothing in between? Now I know in yard drainage and basement waterproofing, if there was a three and a half inch pipe, this would be dominant in the industry. What do we have to do to get the manufacturers to listen to us? How do we get a three and a half inch pipe? I want to know what you think. Leave your comments in the comment section. If you found any of this information helpful, give us a thumbs up. It supports the channel. If you have any questions about this installation, leave them in the comment section. I'm your host, Robert Sherwood, and until that next video.